to all the haters. Two buttons today, baby. Well, hey there, my fellow Sally Whackers. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is super, super special because we're taking the next step in restoring and bringing back the abandoned pond. Now, for those of you who are new to the series, bordering the neighborhood that I grew up in is an abandoned lake. Your boy has spent every minute on the toilet lately just Googling weird places to buy shiners. I don't know what it is, but the bathroom has always been the place where my mind just functions best. Jesus Christ! There was a cow ant. There was a cow ant crawling into my pants, dude. That was the biggest ant I've ever seen. I don't even want to leave that in. Believe it or not, I got on Amazon and was searching through just like, you know what? Maybe, maybe. I mean, it's a stretch, but maybe. Open up Amazon, live shiners. Boom, right there. There is a live bait shop on Amazon called Anderson Farms. I didn't wanna reach out and make this a sponsored video because sometimes I like buying something and literally just seeing, okay, is this place a scam or is this place actually legit? So if you look through this online live bait shop, they have multiple different options of what you can order. Let me see if I can figure out where Anderson Farms is really quick. Oh, shoot. They are located smack in the middle of Arkansas. I'm currently in Georgia. There's no way, there's no way these fish are gonna make it. So the order has been placed. I placed it this morning and it should be here in the next couple days. Secondly, you guys blew up the comment section saying, dude, you have way too many fish in there to be adding bait and expecting any change. I read multiple articles saying that if you have a three acre lake, you need to be removing up to 45 pounds of bass every single day year. No fish have been removed from this lake in the last 10 years. This thing is way overpopulated and you guys were 100% right. We're going to start today's video off by dipping in the kayak and whacking, hopefully for the first time on the channel, some skinny sallies. Oh God. We are in here. It's also a super hot day. There's this little pocket of shade, which might be the perfect spot to kind of whack a couple just to get it started right. Bike. Oh my gosh. How about just put a hole in my kayak? Definite, definite bite on the first cast. That's always good news. Oh, just got crushed. Oh, that, no, he was right there. That would have been my first micro crankbait bass, I want to say. Oh, that was epic, dude. There's gigantous bluegill down there heading at it. I was always curious if there was big crappie in here. Because those would also be a major competition for the bass, especially on little minnows and stuff. Fish on. Fish on. Come on, buddy. This is... No! Why are they all spitting me? Got him. We're on. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh yes. This is the perfect size that you want out of here. So if you were wondering how we were gonna keep the fish alive while we were out here, I have a little fish basket, which is perfect for little half pounders like this guy right here. Crisscross man. That's what he was into. He said, is that a, is that a fully grown man in a crisscross position? Let me munch up on that worm, boy. Oh, that one feels better. Nope, even tinier. Oh, yes. Come here, dude. Perfect size again, folks. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, dude. That fish was right by the boat. Okay, he's got it. He's swimming with it. Got him. Oh, that's a perfect size to get out of here. Come here, little guy. Yes. Pip squeak. Oh man. Saw the reflection of my paddle. Thought a gator was about to end my days. That's a fish. Oh my gosh. Almost pulled the rod out of my hand. This lake has so much potential, man. I say it every time we fish here, but there's so much structure around the outer edge of this lake where bait can get up in. And if there was shad in this lake, they could spawn so good. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. He was in a tree. Another perfect mover. Another little big mouth, tiny body, stunted fish. Thanks, buddy. Oh, baby. One of these little guys is not looking too hot. I think the hook caught him right in this dome piece. Oh, baby. Don't mind me, sir. Just carrying my bucket of fish. How you doing? I slap. Don't you come out. Oh, yep. The creek is ripping. Oh, this is perfect. Big guy first. Go and prosper, buddy. Mediocre, half sized. Go and have some actual food. All right, little guy. Go become some fat sallies. Four fish out of the big pond into the creek. Pretty sure one of them's turtle bait, but turtles gotta eat too, if you know what I'm saying. If I don't break my leg on the way out of here, next clip, we should be unboxing live, heavy quotations. They're shipping from Arkansas. Live shiners, fingers crossed. They came in. When I ordered these fish, I didn't know if they were gonna come with an aerator, if they were just gonna be like, just injected with freaking G-juice. I have no idea what to expect inside of these boxes. I mean, of course, I know there's shiners in there. I just don't know how they package these. And the other thing that I'm really curious about is how many of these fish actually made it from Arkansas all the way to Alabama. I can feel fish kicking inside of this box. Not a lot of movement, but good gracious, this thing is pretty heavy. So I ordered either four or five pounds of two different sizes. I got one box. The frogs are getting their freak on. Little post rain, love making session. Short lived. I ordered two different sizes of fish. I have one box that's five pounds of four to six inch jumbo shiners. And then I also ordered one to go for numbers, just kind of get as many new fish introduced into this pond as we possibly could today. Enough talk, we've, we've put this moment off long enough in this video. It's time to shut up, crack these boxes open. Instructions. You will float the bag of fish in your pond slash lake for 15 to 20 minutes. Then cut the bag open and release them. Do not do anything extra. All right, that's all we need to know. Also, I was curious what they would do about like accidentally sending dead fish because when you go buy live bait at a live bait store, if there's dead fish, they just don't sell them to you. But according to their little pamphlet if you got some tummy uppers all you have to do is take pictures of them which is actually perfect because I'm, I'm a big fan of taking pictures of dead fish <laughs> mm, too far let it out buddy let it out it also says if the fish appear to be dead give them two to four hours to bounce back because sometimes they'll just be chilling belly up taking a little midday nap enough reading had enough of that when I dropped out of college twice here we go folks the moment of truth this packaging is crazy oh dude 
we definitely have some belly uppers. If I had imagined this is some sort of insulated bubble wrap, I've never seen this before, but I've also never ordered fish off of a strange website. It's time to pull out. Oh, there's still definitely some fish alive in there. Oh, my baby. <sighs> Out of the shoulder. Now it's time. Yes. Now it's time to see how big their jumbo four to six inch fish truly are. More instructions, already read it. Oh. Oh gosh, there's definitely, oh my gosh, dude, there are massive fish in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those are some of the biggest shiners I've seen in person. That is incredible, dude. They are so fat. We're gonna set these side by side so you can see exactly what these fish have going on. Even though these fish are kind of floating belly up, a lot of them are just kind of lethargic. They're still kicking. And I think we're gonna be able to get these things to the water and let them acclimate as soon as possible. Looks like this big tummy upper is eating about 15 of these little snack sized shiners. Now, for some reason, this water with the big ones seems to have more chemicals. It's like a red pink in there, but even the big ones in there are still kicking around. So I've been trying to figure out how to get big shiners inside of this pond for the past four months ever since you guys have really been craving to see this pond turn around and today we're finally introducing some fish that i think will make a true difference in this lake and the cool thing is now we have a supplier so we can get as many as we want as long as you guys want to see us turn this pond into a sally whacking haven we can do it with that said it's time to walk these fish to the water get them acclimating let them sit there about 15 minutes like they said to then we're going to release these fish Oh gosh, that one came untied as soon as I picked it up. Oh gosh, I have to retie that one at the water edge. All this mud is about to suck. Oh, I'm in there. I am all up in there. Ah. Good news is a, a little rainstorm just came through and these fish have about a six inch little thermoclimate layer across the entire pond. And hopefully, it's gonna be just what these fish need to kind of help ease them in and more will survive than I was thinking will. Not a perfect night, but should withhold 15 minutes at least. Little vine wrap. All right, the fish are successfully implanted. Now we just gotta let them acclimate. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm sweating bad. Real bad. It looks like there's a lot more dead fish than there are. I'm looking at these fish, and they'll just sit there and hang out, belly up, like playing possum almost. They just lay there, belly up, and then the next thing you know, they flip over and they're just tongue fighting their buddy. No moral code whatsoever. Which I understand because there's some dark days in the pen. Fish have been sitting about half the amount of time they need to. I'm excited for these fish to get in here. I know it looks like just two little bags of fish, but these things are heavy. That's 10 pounds of tiny little fish that are gonna get up in here and all these tree systems and everything surrounding the edge. There's also like a lot of good algae underneath the water. These fish will get up in there and just get that freak going. All right, folks, it is time. I've sweat through my undies twice, just sitting on the bank, got eaten by 18,000 mosquitoes, and half my fish died, but we're still doing some positive work here. Mark my freaking words up there. Nope, nope, almost went in. Now, we gotta cut the bag and let just a little bit of pond water in before we release these fish. Oh, they're kicking out. They're kicking out. 
gosh, dude. That one's long gone. And that, that's a definite, that's over four inches. Son of a biscuit. I need you guys to live. Come on, buddy. Yes. It looks like a fish massacre. <sighs> All right. Just keep on cutting around and letting more pond water in these bags. Dude, so many of them died already. That one looks like he's gonna live. Come on, guys, survive for me. This pond needs you more than you know. Oh my gosh, there's so many big ones. Come on, buddies, please survive. Please survive. They're hitting my ankles underneath the water. One just got destroyed right there. Now to introduce the tinies. Oh, baby. Get in there. Flourish, young ones. Please go feed my monster tiny bass. Please go feed the fat sallies in the making. Oh no. There's so many belly up. I can't, I can't lie to you. I kind of expected some of these fish to die. Just not this many. There's probably 30 to 40 dead fish. Half of them being the big ones that I really, really wanted to see kick off. Son of a biscuit. But they're running out there. They're getting out there. Some of them are surviving. Maybe three, four, 75% of these fish lived, which I can live with. It does suck because we spent a few hundred bucks on these fish. Oh my gosh. Please live, buddy. Please. I've got, I've got fish out here smaller than this shiner. Please live. Please. Don't you go belly up, big boy. Stay down there. Go flourish, big boy. At least have some babies before you croak. I need you guys to be getting freaky, not dying immediately. Some of these are doing really well. They already seem like they're getting chased by some fish. They're just gonna take a few hours to kind of get comfortable, kick off. One just got blew up on right there. Something's chasing that guy right there. He's going crazy. Come on, big boy. Look at those chunky, chunky shiners, man. Yes, don't go shallow, go deep. Go out with your brethren. I'm sweating so hard, cotton in the summer in me. It's just, it's not a good mix. It, it never works out in my favor. I've just been sitting here on the bank of the abandoned pond watching fish blow up on all the minnows and the massive shiners we just put in here. I heard a couple deep blow ups, which could be a two or three pounder, who knows. Sally Whackers, if I don't leave soon, I'm gonna sweat out everything my body has to offer. Thank you guys so much for making videos like this possible, helping me turn around some of my favorite places to fish and make them good fisheries. The more support these videos get, the more likes they get, the more comments telling me that you're interested in videos like this. I'll come out here and do this every single month until this place is a bass haven. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I'm here, I'm here. Don't bite me. I haven't got my 100,000 subscriber plaque yet. And if I get that, my life will be complete. Oh!